Hi, welcome to our Final Cut vs Premiere vs Premiere series. If you're watching this for whatever reason, you're considering which editing software is better. First of all, let me say, objectively, there is nothing like better software when it comes to these two or any other video editing software. It really boils down to your subjective needs. But don't you worry, this is not going to be one of those videos where we just list all the features and we'll leave it up to you to decide which one is better. We decided to have a close look at the rendering speed so that we find out which software renders your videos faster. We're testing computers that are older too, because realistically, that's what people have. By now, you must be really irritated why I didn't explain the weird title of the video, Final Cut vs Premiere vs Premiere. So let me explain. In our testing, we found out that there are huge differences between Premiere running on Windows and running on Mac OS. So, that's why the title. You will learn more details in the future episodes, actually, in the next one already. First computer we tested was an iMac from 2014. It's a beautiful machine that seems to be powerful enough for HD or 4K video editing even in the basic specs like ours. Our machine is running OS X El Capitan. It has Core i5 quad-core processor, 8GB of RAM, 1TB hard drive and Intel Iris Pro graphics card with 1.5GB shared memory. To test it we prepared 1080p and 4K project with 1 minute footage from Sony A7R2 camera. By the way you can find Find all the source file links and render settings on our website. I put a link in the description below. First we started rendering in Final Cut the 1080p sample, right after we did 4K sample and repeated the same in Premiere Pro. As you can see we found a huge performance gap. Premiere is much slower than Final Cut. We are not going to make any conclusions or assumptions at this point because we have a few more computers to test. Keep in mind though, the results you have seen are for Final Cut version 10.2 and Adobe Premiere CC 2015 which are the most up-to-date versions at the time of our testing. The situation may and most probably will change. I'm speaking from my experience when I compared Adobe Premiere CS6 but I won't confuse you with that here. For more details on benchmarking and other tests have a look at our website or Facebook page the links are in the description below. In our next episode we're going to have a look at an older Dell Vostro 430 that was made into an Hackintosh. We wanted to find out the differences between Premiere running on Windows and OS X. And just to tease you a bit, we found out that the difference is huge and we didn't expect that at all. Let us know in the comments below what did you think about what we found out today or just ask any questions. Alright, if you hated this video you know what to do, but if you found it useful don't forget to hit that like button or even subscribe for our future episodes. May the video editing patience be with you.